Moses and I were both working for a different magazine on campus um, and decided that we would rather branch off and kind of um, start our new thing, which still has to do with uh, fashion, which is what we were, were doing, but also incorporates activism and art. Although I loved fashion and art and things like that, um, I also care deeply about other things like global events and representing women and uh, putting a little more like meaning and purpose behind the shoots that we were producing and all the content that we were making. So um, that was a huge force in driving uh, the creation of the Audacity. I also feel like just in our name, the Audacity, it's like we have the nerve to talk about things that will make people uncomfortable and that people might not want to talk about or read about or see, but that's important that we put that out there. We get together and we decide kind of topics or issues that we want to talk about during the issue and then uh, depending on that topic we choose a photographer that we think would suit that and then we pull <coughs> um, from local boutiques um, that we feel that would express that idea. Like something that we always say that's like cheesy but is like very important is that like caring is cool, right? Like we want people to know that this is a place that they can express how much they care about something or like talk about an issue that's important to them and be very passionate about something and, and that you're in an atmosphere where everyone shares that. I think it's a really good community for anyone who feels like they have something to say and we have an outlet where you can say it.